Hey Goddess Nation, Diane here again, and this time I have the hip thrusters for you that's in that better booty challenge or that glute challenge that we're working on. Hip thrusters, I can't say enough about them. They have transformed my booty for life. Now, I'm going to show you the body weighted version. I'm also going to give you an example where you can use dumbbells. So if you have a set of dumbbells at home, you can work up to adding that into your hip thrusters for the month for the glute challenge. Now, you don't have to have the dumbbells, but they do add another element that's going to really sculpt and tone and firm up that booty. So if you have them, pull them out, dust them off, and get, get them working to good use. So what you'll need is you'll need a chair. So any dining room chair that you have, kitchen chair will work. I don't recommend a computer chair, nothing with wheels. So you wanna keep it nice and solid. Um, if you're on carpet, you should be okay, but if not, grab a yoga mat or a towel, maybe not a towel, but something that you can keep at the bottom of that chair so it doesn't slide. You can also push it up maybe against a wall. That would actually work perfect. So I'm gonna turn around. You're going to take your back to the chair and you're going to use your hands to push you up a little bit just so that way you can rest your upper back on the chair. Um, another little piece of advice is if that chair tends to bother your back and it feels a little like, okay, this is uncomfortable, then you can grab a yoga mat or you can grab a towel just to give yourself a little extra cushion, okay? I'm just gonna press up onto my hands and I'm gonna bring my feet right underneath my knees, okay? So that's important, that'll help you get in the right spot. And then I'm gonna rest my upper back right about where like my bra strap connects or with the back of my bra is uh, at my back there and my shoulders. Now, you wanna make sure your feet aren't too close in towards your butt and they're not too far out and you're not too far out wide. You wanna keep your legs just a direct extension from your hip bones, okay? So I'm just gonna show you with my hands on my hips real quick here and then your feet are right under your knees. So you're gonna take your butt and I want you to tap down to the floor so you get a full stretch along the glutes and a slight arch, I don't know if you can see it, but a slight arch in your low back. Okay, then you're gonna come up, you're gonna exhale and start to tuck your hips under and press your hips up towards the sky, engaging all the glute, um, glute muscles that actually wraps around all the way to the lower ab muscles. Okay, so you're gonna drop down again Butt touches, come up, squeeze as you come up. Very important to get that full squeeze as you tap, tuck, rotate the hips up, and press. Now you'll notice my toes are floating off the floor because I'm driving my heels into the floor, which is activating the glutes even more and even those hamstrings, that lovely area that we always complain about, like the cellulite behind the legs, all that fun stuff. We're actually engaging those muscles too, the hamstrings. Okay, so let's do 10 together, and then I'm going to show you five with the dumbbells. So we're going to come up, exhale, one, take it back down, two, three, get that full squeeze, four, five, how's your booty feeling? I know mine's already starting to warm up, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, and ten. Now, if you've never done these before, you should certainly feel that burn. I know that I do them a few times a week, and I definitely am noticing that already. So, if you have dumbbells, challenge you and try them out. Even if you can't finish the entire uh, amount of reps that are listed on the glute challenge, even if you just do 10, and then increase them as you go along through the challenge, your glutes will not only get firmer and tighter, but they'll just be more sculpted, and you'll feel fantastic in those short shorts. So to get into it with the dumbbells, you're going to rest them on your hip flexors, which is right here where your, um, where your leg kind of bends and meets your hip. So you're gonna just rest them there, shouldn't be uncomfortable. Bring those feet up again and then position yourself, and it's kind of a trick to get into sometimes, but once you get there, you'll be fine. Push yourself up, walk your feet back, and then just hang on to those dumbbells. Keep your gaze forward, try not to look down or look back the whole time. Let your hips come down, and again, let's do five weighted ones here. Five, four, three, two, and 
last one. Bring it down. Awesome. So I'm going to take those off there. And that, my friends, was your introduction to hip thrusters. Now, if you decide you want to challenge yourself even more, and you have a barbell at home, which is a, either a short bar or a long bar, you can do that at home as well by adding that to the hip thrusters and definitely increasing the booty burn and tightening up the muscles. So last one we have is gonna be a one-legged elevated bridge. So join me on the next video and I will show you how to do that one for your 30-day challenge.